Hey guys, what's up? Steve Nozill from Outsider Garage. Sorry for the little bit of, uh, or I shouldn't say a little bit, significant delay in uh, getting new content up for YouTube, but it's been uh, a hell of a month and a half. Uh, very, very busy over here. Uh, but finally, things are starting to kind of come together, and I figured I would uh, just get a quick update out. Um, I am by no means uh, done with information about Derek Allen Banks. We'll be back for more got plenty of other testimony from shops and from people who have been working on and received a lot of the items that have come back to customers and I'd love to share that with you as well as a, a nice little joke of a surprise that came in the mail uh, last week or the week before that regarding restitution uh, so I'll leave it at that we'll come back and revisit uh, but honestly there's just been too many more important things going on than him right now one of which, obviously, is like work and family, and uh, the second is uh, the car and outsider garage. I have some big news uh, that I'm really, really happy to announce, is that uh, myself and my car, my silver R32, will be displaying at SEMA this year. So this has been kind of in the works for a little while. Finally got the, the clear that it's okay to talk about, so uh, I've been invited to go as the show uh, or display car for uh, FV suspension. Um, these are uh, the same guys, uh, same company that put on um, the Northeast Skyline meet and uh, they have been expanding rapidly uh, with their FV suspension and it's phenomenal. I have it in the white GTR, really, really cool stuff. So we're going to be putting this on the uh, on the GTST for obvious reasons. Uh, I think there's going to be a whole lot of performance gain by doing this and also leave a lot more uh, flexibility and uh, usability. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'll be certainly doing another video soon uh, and we'll go over the installation of that and and uh, we'll have a good time. But over the past few weeks, uh, with the exception of the SEMA news and everything, uh, I have been just going nonstop at this car, trying to get this thing ready. Uh, we obviously have the Northeast Skyline meet coming up. Uh, I think it's the first or second weekend in June, I think June 5th or 6th or something like that. I forget the exact date, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll see if I can correct myself. But um, the car has been sitting all winter. Uh, yeah, yeah, as everybody knows, I've been working on some big updates that have been kind of slow and finally got some things squared away and uh, I think we're ready to, get, ready to get this thing out there, but first we got to make a trip to FAB and get some intercooler piping uh, modified. Unfortunately, with the Ross dry sump uh, being constructed the way it was, I mean it's a CNC aluminum dry sump and it's very thick in the area that goes over the steering rack. Uh, would have cleared just fine, but since I'm running the PRP block brace, it added too much uh, height, uh, so no longer no could clear. So I ended up having to uh, to shim um, my exhaust side engine mount, which raised some things up and changed some things around. That alongside of the fact that we're going with the drive-by wire, uh, there was some changes need to be made. So I'm actually sitting in my trailer, uh, standing in my trailer right now. Uh, this is the new trailer. Uh, Again, this thing is awesome. I took the white GTR out, it's back in the garage, and now the silver GTST is in here for the first time. Fits really nice. Nice and safe, secure, plenty of clearance on both sides. This trailer is, is really awesome. Got some cabinets. Uh, just installed my winch down here. So we are ready to rock and roll. So quick, uh, I'll quickly go over what I kind of did and what's left and um, and then we'll leave it at that and I guess uh, I'll come back to you guys for, for the uh, the first startup of 2022. Um, as you can see, there's the dry sump reservoir in the back. Made a custom mount uh, for this thing to uh, to be held onto the roll cage. Uh, I got all the lines routed with the exception of the vent out, uh, which I'm gonna come, you can see it sitting there, the 12 end fitting, it's gonna come over here through the deck and then there's gonna be a separate air oil cat, oil separator uh, inside the trunk so that the uh, the reservoir can breathe. And we'll swing around to the front.
back of the trailer, rather. So all sorts of good things have happened. Another which is, uh, as you can see, there's now a turbo sticking out of the hood. I really didn't want to do that, but I was left with kind of no option with uh, how high everything was sitting. Whole new wiring harness, soup to nuts, engine harness, chassis harness have all been completely ripped out of the car and I built a, uh, a new harness from scratch hooked up to the Nexus R5, so the Nexus R5 controls everything now. Um, Got to get the ignition system back on, um, remade all new hoses for the oil cooler, brackets, everything. We have two motive DVD ducts in the front now, so intercooler piping's got to get modified and going up. Uh, new oil filter relocation from Improved Racing uh, mounted on the strut. Uh, tower there and um, that's all 12N everything is 12N 20N for the radiator and then we go down to I think 16N for the feed and the return from the reservoir drive by wire it's all set up, configured everything Everything in the Haltech is ready to go this thing is literally ready to start so once it comes back from fab we're going to be doing fluids and we'll get it ready to go um, the Samsonis transmission is in it is, uh, excuse me, it is uh, the transmission cross member is made up and you can see some of the extra wires here that I've tucked up uh, for the harness. These are all extras, believe it or not, from Nexus, uh, from, from the Nexus harness. You can kind of see the Nexus down here in the corner. And we have the CAN uh, keyboard hooked up. That thing is absolutely awesome. We have the TMS sensor there. You can see, and there's actually a GPS sensor ignition uh, relay for the uh, the IGN One As, and we have now have a battery cutoff switch. Uh, fabbed up a little carbon center console piece there to go around the uh, Samsonis uh, shifter, and now I have my power running back uh, to the firewall over here. Make a plug for that, and you can see the harness on the right there going. Uh, to the back as well and there's the dry sump reservoir it's very dirty in here lots of dust everywhere uh, you can kind of see there's a little ball valve down there that's for oil changes uh, that's routed underneath the car and there's a cap to fitting underneath there so uh, simply open up that for oil changes and you can see the big ass 16a in lines they come down and they're routed underneath the seat bracket and then up into the firewall so this is coming together. Uh, I gotta get the get dash back in, obviously, when we're ready. But I am absolutely super excited to get this thing running and uh, feel that transmission uh, for the first time. Uh, I spoke with the tuner. We'll be heading back probably sometime in July after the Northeast Island meet. Everything's calmed down a little bit. And we're going to put this thing uh, back on ethanol. Should have more than enough fuel to do what we want to do. Uh, I told him that I don't want to go too crazy this year, obviously with SEMA coming up. So we're going to reserve a little bit and probably stop at around 8, 850 or so. And then um, get through SEMA, we'll come back next year. And uh, probably first thing next year in the spring, uh, we're going to go for some big power runs. Finally, uh, we're like two and, a half, uh, two and a half years out now from the initial, uh, the first startup of this thing. So it's been a, uh, a very exciting journey. All right, guys. Uh, sorry for the, the lack of content and probably the minimalistic video here, but figure just a, a small update, and then we'll get back on a, back in action uh, as soon as this thing is ready to start up. Until next time.